morning guys um well yeah it's still morning it's 10 23 i am filming this video because i have not uploaded a video in way too long and it is not okay so i have decided that i would film this video um it's pretty much just gonna be a vlog i don't really know to show you what i'm doing um i'm also gonna share with you guys right now the current reads because i have been reading so slow and I tried to film a video and I was gonna upload it guys. It was gonna be like, how many pages can I read in a week? I was not happy with how the video turned out. Like genuinely was like, this is not, no, it cannot get put out there. So it's not even cause it's like embarrassing. It's just like the energy level is so low. So we're not sharing that one. Um, instead, I decided that we would just film a vlog and I will read. Um, I'll show you guys like my Bible studies, what I'm reading right now. Today I read Matthew chapter 6 and 7. I also read Matthew 6 last night with a small group that I'm a part of. Um, and we like kind of went over, I, we had like we prayed and we observed the scripture, how can we apply it to our lives, all of that, which was so great. Um, I almost spilled my coffee. Um, anyways, I would encourage you to get around people that you can read the Bible with because I think that's so great and it's encouraging. Um, yeah, that's that. So anyways, read Matthew 6 and 7 this morning and really, really love that. And then I'm also reading Renegade still and I started Pride and Prejudice. I decided to read both because I really wanted to read Pride and Prejudice and I got kind of bored with Renegades and I think I only got bored because I've read it before. So when you've already read something, trying to read it again, sometimes you're like, okay, I'm bored because I, I started to remember things that had happened. So anyways it's it's a process um but yeah this week is just school work life i have a picnic on sunday with some friends so maybe i'll film some of that um but yeah i hope you enjoy this vlog and that's pretty much it so guys it's been like maybe a day since i last filmed um today i don't know i just remembered that i was filming and i was like oh I should probably take care of that. Um, anyways, so it's currently Friday and I have a little church gathering thing tonight and a full like little conference thingy tomorrow also. Um, so yeah, that's that. Uh, I'm doing homework right now. It looks like it's just YouTube, but it's because I opened up YouTube to watch a video while I do homework. I'm working on a magazine currently for my magazine production class. Um, all about books because I got to choose the topics so it's great I also did my nails today look at those Ooh. um yeah the weather's warm finally so I spent some time outside tanning while I did some other homework um but then wasps decided to show up and then I realized we have a wasp nest that we have to take care of so that's fun so then I went inside because I got scared uh but yeah anyways that's my little update real quick. I will try to film some more glimpses of things. <laughs> Hello guys. So it is now Monday. Will I vlog? Hopefully. <laughs> I'm doing my makeup right now because, well, I gotta get ready for work. And also I have like a dress code for work so I can't like wear shorts or you know tank tops or whatever but it's like really hot outside and i mean okay it could be like 100 degrees it's only like in the 80s right now but the sun is out and for sometimes for sometimes is that even a phrase no sometimes <laughs> at work i'm outside and it's really hot like in the sun there's no shade so i have found my solution to this because I don't want to wear jeans and skirts aren't like the most practical thing to wear especially when they're really long which I did the other day for work and that was um it was okay but it was rough so my new goal is linen pants I ordered linen pants and I'm wearing them right now I'll show you later and that has been like the go-to thing because it just works out so well and they're thinner so you're not like you know sweating a bunch but then on top of that they like cover so you're okay i'm all for modesty K 
Okay, just so you guys know, all full modesty, my shorts are not super long, super long, not super short, but they're also like not to my knees, you know, but like, anyways, that's besides the point. So linen pants to the rescue. If you are at a workplace where there's a dress code or whatever, I recommend the linen pants. I actually haven't really been wearing mascara recently and I've grown to really, really like the fact that no mascara really helps my eyes to not get irritated throughout the day because usually I use, wow, it's messy, uh, the Maybelline Sky High one. It's great. I love it. And I only use it on days that like I'm feeling like oh, we're getting really cute, you know, like really fancy. Um, other than that, I've actually been using the e.l.f. Clear Mascara. Their brow part, which I'm pretty sure is literally the same thing, just a different brush. Um, I don't use it just because it gets my eyebrows really flaky. Like my eyebrow hair is really thick and long. So to use like a gel on it, it just does not look good. It looks like, it looks like my eyebrows have dandruff, okay? We're not going for that. So gross. And I also use like Vaseline with like a little, I'll show you guys, a little brush on my eyelashes some days if I don't want to use the clear one. I would say that the clear is great for your bottom lashes because see how they just kind of like stay down and I hate getting mascara on the bottom of my eyes and there's little black lines and it makes you look weird. So use clear mascara for that. And then I would say that this is best for your upper lashes. I think they stay up more, especially when you curl them. Today though, I just use the clear one. So we'll see how well that does. So I need to clean my room and I don't want to like show you guys the mess. I'm going to try to show you my outfit to the best of my abilities without showing you my whole entire room because I'm going to clean it right now. Anyways, the top is Old Navy and so are the pants. Um, it's just like a navy blue like waffle knit t-shirt. I don't know how to explain it to you. Um, and then linen pants from Old Navy also. They're also really comfortable. Like this is an outfit that I feel like I would feel like I'm gonna be staying at home all day but I still look nice especially if you pair it with some sandals now I can't wear sandals to work I wish I could so I'm gonna wear like oh my gosh what are they called I'll show you them these like toms I think is what they're called yeah toms can't wear sandals but if I was going anywhere but work I would still wear like my Burke and stocks with these or really any type of like black sandal you could even probably do brown but I prefer black with this also, do I have brown sandals? I don't think I have brown sandals anymore. I gotta buy some. Anyways, so, yeah. So, I just finished doing my course evaluation things where we, like, evaluate the course that we took, the instructor, the homework, all of those things. And then, during it, I realized that the drawing class I take, in the gradebook, there was no spot for the, like, discussion posts. And in those discussion posts, we like upload a ton of like sketches that we do, all of like the assignment stuff. So I'm like, are we not getting graded for this? Because if we're not, why why did I put so, 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 so much effort in those sketches? I would have like not stressed out about them as much. They probably, I mean, I'd still do them. I'm not saying that I wouldn't do them, but I mean like, I wouldn't put as much stress on myself for them to be, you know? Anyways, but it's, we have one week left. Nothing I can do about it now. Um, but I did add that in like my extra comments for the valuation. Like, where's the grade for those? Anyways, so yeah, I'm going to continue to eat my apple <laughs> and do now my like little homework quizzes for my classes and watch some YouTube. And that's about it. Oh, and then I have to go to work soon. Hey, little duckies. <laughs> I just spent some time um, reading my Bible outside, as you saw, and honestly, it was so, so needed. I feel like I haven't really prioritized recently and just like reading my Bible, um, which is sad because I was like so, so like reading it all the time and really enjoying that and all those things. And then it just kind of like 
suddenly happened where I feel like I just kind of stopped doing it as much. Um, so today I started to fix that and I read my Bible and I feel, I feel really, really, really refreshed. And I feel a lot better. Um, so if you are in a spot where maybe you've just been so busy and so stressed out that you just maybe haven't picked up your Bible as frequently as you used to, I encourage you to just do it. Just stop what you're doing, pick it up right now, and read your Bible or pray. Spend time with the Lord. Like, it is so, so refreshing. And it's so necessary for us. Um, but yeah, so I encourage you to do so because your Bible is so important. Also, I have a lot of stickers on the back of my Bible right now. I added more. Um, anyways, yeah, that was random. I got sidetracked by that. But I encourage you to read your Bible. Um, and don't, don't feel discouraged if you have messed up and you haven't god has so much grace for us he loves us so much and he he's like hey it's okay i know but like let's get back to him this relationship of me and you so no matter how long of a break you've had from reading your bible it is never ever ever too late um so yeah here is me choosing to this remember to pick it up because it's been like not that i haven't like read it at all but I feel like I haven't been as consistent with it this past week. So we're going to change that. We're going to be more consistent this week. Um, so yeah. Anyways, that's that. Get your get your iced coffee or just your hot coffee and read your Bible. But yeah, basically I just want to talk about how I originally was reading Acts chapter 4 because that's kind of been like where I've been at in my reading. Um, but then I've also been like jumping around a lot. So I went ahead to Matthew... I read Acts 4 and then I read Matthew chapter 4, I think. And then I read some of Proverbs too. That's besides the point. Um, but something really stood out to me today when I was reading in Matthew. Because it was talking about when Jesus was being tempted by the devil in the wilderness. And one of the things that I thought was the most impactful, just a good, a good reminder, was that when he was being tempted he went to scripture so he he didn't even have to go to the scripture he just quoted the scripture and he was like no this is what the word says no this is what the word says and the devil even used scripture back at him he was like well no because this is also what the word says and yours is not leading me into you know righteousness and holiness and all these he didn't say it like that but that's the thoughts i was getting i was just thinking like huh when we feel tempted, do we first think to just, okay, I'm just not going to think about it, not going to think about it, not going to think about it, not going to think about it. Or we go, okay, I'm being tempted, but here's what the Bible says about whatever this is. Or here's what the Bible says about me. You know, maybe you're somebody who's experienced some sin in your life and you've overcome it and you met Jesus and now you're being tempted to go back to that sin. Well, maybe start quoting scriptures about like being a new creation and living free and all these things and maybe that will help you to fight the temptation you know and I think that's why it's so important to read the bible and really get it and store it into your heart and I'm not saying you have to memorize it although that is great and I recommend it but maybe just like find these verses for things that you're frequently tempted on and put them on your wall so you can read them often or have them like Put a sticky note or a tab on your bible so you can open it up to that often um but yeah that was just something i was thinking about like when we are tempted we go to god we go to jesus we go to the word we, we repeat those things over ourselves and we speak truth and we speak light and we speak holiness um because that's what's going to help us fight the temptation and if you notice the devil gave up because jesus was rooted you know so that's something that i got and i wanted to share with you guys if you are going through temptation, which we all do, quote scripture over yourself. Go to the word, start speaking life into it, and you'll be okay. Like, I know it's hard. I faced many temptation in my life and still do. But quoting scripture and reading the word is what helps you get through it. Ask the Lord to help you get through it, and he will not lead you into temptation. So, anyways... That's what I read today and that's what I wanted to share with you guys. Now I have to go to work, but 
I hope you guys are able to get something from that. Um, and you can always like search in the Bible app too, like whatever you're struggling with or even like on Google, like verses about blank versus, you know, whatever. Um, anyways. interesting day guys I've actually been super overwhelmed all day and didn't want to be negative so I didn't really film um it's my last week of this semester so I'm just really busy I'm currently working on a book magazine so I'm trying to take pictures of books right now and hoping that it all just kind of works out well and you know whatever um Honestly, this whole like book magazine idea, I've kind of been like, isn't a bad idea. Like if somebody made a magazine like this, like available, I would so do it. So maybe I should just create a magazine guys, you know, maybe that would just make everyone's life a little happier. <laughs> um, anyways, so I'm trying to think of YA books right now, like popular YA books or just YA books in general that people should read. Um, I have the Shatter Me series, but I don't know if I want to put that in my YA magazine because in my opinion, it gets kind of eh as it later on goes. And I remember I had to like skip a bunch of stuff. So I don't know. Maybe I'll just do like the, f I haven't even read it myself yet. It's still, I have, I literally have this one and this one and I haven't read them. I honestly, I'm currently right now reading Pride and Prejudice as an, I have it like physically I've been reading it. I also have it as like an audiobook. Um, and then I'm also trying to finish Renegades, but I've been in kind of since for like ever, I've been in a really big rut with it because I've read it before. So trying to read it again, I realized I got to a point where I got kind of bored just because I was starting to remember parts of it. So that's why I added Pride and Prejudice to my thing. Cause one of my goals for this year was to read a classic. <sighs> so I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do guys. I really just wanna read. So I'm hoping that after this last week of school, I can read again and get back into that habit because I really miss it. And I have a lot of books here on my shelf that I really wanna read. I also yesterday went to Barnes and Noble. I bought a journal, which I'll show you guys later. Uh, maybe like tomorrow but I bought this one I read the first one in like oh, a video probably like almost two years ago I think where I did like a what was it was it a fall first day of fall vlog I think from a while ago and I got it from the library and I loved it it's technically considered like a children preteen book um, but I love it. It was so well written and there wasn't anything like bad in it. And it was so heartfelt and sad and, oh, it was so emotional. It dealt a lot with like the topic of grief and stuff. So anyways, I didn't know there was a second one and I was at Barnes the other day and I was like, oh my gosh, there's a second one. So I bought it. <laughs> I don't own the first one, but I think I'm fine with that. It's definitely like, you know, not long and it shouldn't take me long, though. It's not hard to read. Um, I think there's even like some images. Let me try to find one. Yeah, there's even some images in here, but it's just such a sweet, cute book. And I think it'll be like a good in-between book when you're like, you know, reading a lot of stuff. So I'm reading that one. Honestly, I think I might read it after I read Renegades and Pride and Prejudice just to get me one that's like, okay, I read it, I accomplished it. Now let's tackle everything else. Anyways, I'm getting ahead of myself. I really need to find books to take pictures of and talk about for my classes magazine. Anyway. Hi guys. It is currently Thursday. Um, I am warming up my coffee in the microwave because I let it sit for a little bit too long. I'm going to make sure that right now I spend time reading my Bible and we're just going to read a chapter today. And just really, really, really spend time with the Lord because I need it. Um, sorry, the lighting is so bad. Um, 
and then we're gonna do homework because I also have a lot of homework to do today because we're still in finals week but I know that I could rush on ahead and just go ahead and like you know do my homework and forget about reading my bible but yesterday as I said was a really really hard day so I really need to spend time with Jesus before I get going on all my stuff um so today's to-do list is spend time with Jesus homework I think I'm gonna complete my whole drawing classes project today I'm hoping I can do it all today because that would be great if not it's okay we can do it another day we can finish it but the goal is that and then I also have work so that's another part of the to-do list and I think that's it we're gonna just say that's it for today I'll probably figure out what else <laughs> Okay guys, so it is actually Friday. This is the last day that I'm gonna be vlogging. I literally have a big assignment to do today and then hopefully I can finish it. I really hope it gets, gets finished because it's due tomorrow. <laughs> so if it's not done, oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'll have to work on it tomorrow before I turn it in, but I'm really, really hoping because I'm going to a women's conference tonight so i'm very excited about that um i also want to show you guys my outfit because i really like it i wanted something that was comfortable but like still looked like i put a lot of effort for this women's conference especially because it's tonight i'm gonna be tired i am not a night person so i just think it would be nice to be in something very comfortable so i'm gonna show you my outfit and then today we're working on my magazine and then after my magazine we are what am i doing after my magazine Probably nothing, just magazine. I have to write. So my whole layout is done, like the design is done. I just need to write all of the stuff that needs to go in it today. But I finished my drawing project yesterday, so that's cool. I need to turn it into my, I have to turn it into two different spots. I turned it into the first spot last night. I need to turn it into the second spot today. So that's that, let me show you my outfit. Okay, so here's the outfit. I just did my linen pants with this sweater that I got a long time ago at where did I get it at? Ross? No, TJ Maxx. And then just a tank top from Target. Anyways. Okay guys, so I have two more days left of school currently. I don't even know what I last filmed. I think the last thing I filmed was um, the conference I went to, which was so good. Rita Springer, her obedience to the Lord is beautiful. Her heart for worship is wonderful and there's such an anointing on her life. So that's really cool. So it's really nice to go and hear her speak and sing. Um, but most importantly, it was so good to just sit there and enjoy the presence of the Lord and be refreshed. And also I feel like the Lord is pointing out a lot of things to me in my life that I can grow and work in and all those things um so yeah it's a little bit of a stretching point in my life but it's good it's good stretching and growth is good so that's that um anyways i decided to film my intro for this video today because i don't know anyways today we have two more days of school that's it i haven't done any homework and it's already like lunchtime <laughs> so we're gonna work on that and I'll let you know how the rest of my day goes. I'm halfway through with college and that's that's crazy to think and say out loud, you know? But it's also very exciting and I'm glad to be almost halfway through and for these classes to be over. So, ow, this ring is tight. Anyways, come on. Hey guys, so I realized I did not film an outro to that video and I was sitting here and I was editing in. I was like, you didn't say anything. You just were like, bye. <laughs> that was it. So that was the end of the video. My last day of school went well. I'm actually like, I think almost fully done with my first week of summer right now. So it's been going well. I'm currently filming a spring closet clean out video, which is going really well. 
Um, there's a lot of background noise. We're babysitting my little cousins right now. So if you hear anything, I apologize. But anyways, yeah, so I have a mess going on in my room. But if you want to know all that video and all my spring reset stuff, subscribe so you know when I do the next one. So anyways, thank you so much for watching this video and sticking with me through the last week of school. I love you and I'll see you next time.